Well, hi, and thanks for stopping by the Pellets and Pistons Air Gun channel. Uh, this video is a real quick video just to give you an update on the BSA Stutzen Model RB2 rifle. Now, if you've been following the previous videos, we did two uh, previous videos. One where we took the gun down uh, and evaluated what might be uh, necessary in order to quiet it down and maybe increase the power output a little bit. This thing was shooting around 550 feet per second uh, with a 7.9 Crossman Premier hollow point pellet. Um, that was really low and that's because the gun was originally set up for uh, the German market where the uh, power outputs are limited pretty uh, strictly. So at any rate, I went ahead and did the tune in the second video. We reassembled the gun with a, uh, a new mainspring which was about an inch and a half longer than the original. Uh, that was what they call the standard mainspring for this rifle. Uh, new piston seal, um, we made a spring guide for it. You saw all that in a previous video so I won't get into too much detail. However, we were not able to uh, increase the power output of the rifle. I, I couldn't get the thing to shoot much more than 550 feet per second with these 7.9 grain pellets. Um, so uh, on the first video, uh, the, um, the first video was produced a couple of weeks, about a week before the second video. Both of them were released before I had a chance to uh, talk to some of my um, some of my subscribers, who uh, told me that when they had their rifles apart, they found a little grub screw, an adjustment screw, uh, in the rotary breech itself. And basically, what it is is it's a um, a transfer port throttle screw where you can screw it down into the transfer port or you can back it out and you can adjust it in between uh, and what that does is it allows you to vary the power of the rifle by constricting the flow of the air through the transfer port so what i did is i took my gun back apart looking for that grub screw and sure enough there it was so i'm embarrassed to say that i did not catch it on the first uh takedown of the rifle it took me another takedown before i could find it uh, and that was only after a few people, three of my subscribers, uh, mentioned it for me. So I want to thank you guys very much. You know who you are. And that was a big help for me because I got the gun shooting now at 800 feet per second, which I think is just about right for a, a gun of this uh, of this design. Uh, so at any rate, I'm really happy to report that the gun is shooting where it should. It's as quiet as a church mouse as far as that buzz that we had. And uh, as a way of celebrating, we're going to go ahead and ring the bell. And... Uh, I just want to thank you guys for stopping by the Pellets and Pistons Air Gun channel. I want to thank my subscribers once again for coming to the rescue and helping me out with a job. And uh, you can see it's fall around here, huh? <laughs> and uh, we got a little breeze today. I'm going to try to hit this thing offhand, this bell at 60 yards, just to say thank you to you guys. There we go. So thanks again, folks, for stopping by the Pellets and Pistons Air Gun channel. Thank you to some, my subscribers for letting me know what I needed to do to get this thing shooting right. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do that. Hit the bell if you'd like to be reminded of future videos. And by all means, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this one. Can't tell you how happy I am to have this thing shooting right. <laughs> thanks again, folks. Have a great day.